Hello guys, welcome to my next video. Uh, I, this is part 11, I think, of my SAS Jeep Diorama build. Okay, as promised, today is actually the Diorama base itself. Now I promise you guys to take a to take a look at this uh, still no painting required simple diorama base. In, in daylight outdoors for my house. Okay. Now let's take a let's take a look at this uh, diorama base. Uh, I'll get the I'll get the thing spinning. Okay, so let's take a look at the diorama base first. Now this diorama base actually is <laughs> done in two agonizing, long agonizing episodes. Uh, it's something uh, that I shouldn't be doing on YouTube. But anyways, it's in part 9 and 10. Altogether, two plus hours of long agonizing... Uh, <laughs> uh, no, I don't. I, I don't mind you guys, uh, for for skipping those two videos. But anyways, this thing has been has been dried uh, overnight. Then uh, today, uh, let's take a closer look at the at the at this diorama so far. The diorama base, not the diorama. Slow down, slow it down a bit. Uh, I have to get to the. Okay, so let's slow it down a bit. Okay, so this is one side of the diorama. The tires, the deflated tires, digging into the dirt. The tracks that I did yesterday by cutting off one of those. Uh, this a spare tire. Then actually I ran out of material, natural material, and actually you still can see those spices from my kitchen here. Okay. Okay, I think I think there's a there's a large clump here of the spices here. Okay, but overall uh, after yesterday I touched up I did a few of the entire drama, drama base and added uh, some super glue to cover the entire base. Okay. The edges itself. Okay, I think I think I think I stopped the video here and eh, not not stop the spinning here for a while first. Okay, let's look at the let's look at the chassis, which I think I did in part seven and part eight. Or something like that. The weather chases. Uh, this is this this the the front part is the part that I'm actually I'm wor I'm more worried about. Okay. Now, as, as you know, as you notice, huh, uh, the ch the chassis is actually the chassis is actually uh, and the wheel well is actually a darker color from outside here. This is actually a. Uh, soot soot from the exhaust okay this one will be touch up when i when i do a number on on this uh the body itself of course the other one is actually the other one is actually the rear of the vehicle Ay, let me find the button first give me a second huh? okay okay let me go towards the light okay let's stop it Okay, this is actually the the weathering are done to the back side. This is actually simple weathering. Simple simple weathering uh, that uh, is done. It's actually the same techniques uh, when I do face scalps. The same the same techniques. Okay. 
when I pin, he stops. He stop. Ah. Okay. This head scalp is actually a. Uh, oh, this two head scalp is actually a uh, touch up. All three head scalps are uh, actually touch up in, in much the same way as the wearing weathering done here. Basically, also using the same pin, except of course for the the reds, the standard uh, water soluble color pencil reds. But it's the same how rate uh, that goes on to this this uh, pieces. This one, uh, David Sterling and Penny. Okay. Now, for for those of you uh, that had been following, for for those of you had that had been following my Facebook. It's actually a sort of a back to square one, back to square one uh, thing uh, that's happening. Now, those those of you who have been following my Facebook, this is actually uh, the the post I had for these three figures when I posted them on Facebook. I think about one two years back. Of course, right now uh, it's, it's further defined. Uh, with a uh, new new hands, okay. Paddy Paddy uh, hands also. Okay. Now at this stage, uh, I'll call the diorama at about sixty percent finish. Another forty percent to go. I still have the the inside of the cap to do. The, cock, the detailing of this uh, dashboard uh, I'm thinking of a sundown here sundown is actually one of those uh, essential equipment for SAS for for navigating and perhaps maybe a sextant okay the bracket here here and here Now also, I think in one of the earlier ep episodes, I painted this uh, German jerry can. It used to be a raw plastic, uh, I think it's grey colour, raw plastic grey. Okay. This one is actually, uh, this, two, this, this jerry can is actually uh, weathered, uh, not weathered, painted. Okay, and, and then there's another one. Okay. Things like <coughs> reinsetting some of these some of these things are right now being done, and then uh, I broke off uh, the, plastic, the original plastic strap here. Then uh, a copper band now rides in this uh, place. Okay, of course with a uh, scale scale wedding spots. No, I'm I'm not too worried about things like that because my perception of a SAS Jeep is David Sterling got a few uh, got, got some units uh, new during the land lease uh, program then all this all the mods uh, that you saw on this on this uh, Jeep is actually done uh, in few A team style okay okay Things like uh, addi additional, additional, additional. What what do you call this? Brackets, handle, tie down. This is actually solder. Then the ends is of, is uh, super glue and baking soda. Okay. This this one this this area will have a, a shortened X. And let's look. Let's take a look at the. Fuel tank. This is, I think, a secondary fuel tank. The primary fuel tank is actually rides uh, rides underneath the uh, the driver. Okay. Ah, of course. I super detail, super detail the jerry can caps. 
But luckily, no, I don't have to do all. Because Dragon DML, this is the this is the kit that I actually got it from. Number seven five zero three eight. Okay. Okay. From 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 this kit, not all the caps are like that. Some of them is like that, which doesn't require or there's no clear picture uh, to detail caps like this. And of course. I reinstated the uh, mirror. Okay, the or the original dragon parts, but this piece this piece is a piece of band wire with a uh, grub screw uh, on it. On it. Then actually, I lost I lost one of the one of the caps, and this is the this is the scratch wheel cap that I did. Now at this stage is most work will go on to go on to uh, further detailing like this, weathering weathering things like that, because most of the things like chains, uh, pins has been done. I think I still haven't put in the, the gear shift and the brakes yet, the hand brakes yet. So there's lots to be done. Okay, let's take a take a closer look from another angle. Uh, of course the front grill also then this uh, condenser can uh, need, needs a lot more work okay guys we'll give it another final spin a final spin and we'll call this video done at I think maybe about 13-14 minutes okay let me get down to this part to work all the controls okay okay so let's have let's have another look at the no still no painting required uh diorama base actually originally i was going to plant the uh, the crab grass the foliages now but thinking uh, thinking there's so much work to be done i will do that as the work goes along because I foresee a more airbrush work then we polish here and there it will it will it will, it will hinder some progress okay. Okay, again the dilemma base uh, the tracks the tracks that uh, lead, uh, lead okay I, hey guys, I just I think I just thought of the title for this. Let me okay. This is actually uh, color pencils. I don't go for details. Okay, I think I think I think <laughs> I tell you I tell you guys, it's very funny to have the design intent uh, at this little stage okay but this one okay uh ran out of my mind it's about maybe about 4 a.m in the morning after a raid during that two three four hours two three two three or four hours or so the jeeps has actually uh, left the reading site travel uh, more than a hundred uh, slightly more than a hundred miles or so and they have made themselves into the wadi now of course when you're approaching a, a, a wadi you don't just stop park and and go get out 
you have to, have to do some reconnaissance first check the area out so i think by now david will have will be in the second gear with the foot of the accelerator uh, accelerator better better okay the jeep will be go will be rolling along at walking space maybe about three to five miles per hour yeah they are scanning the whole the, the whole wadi uh, for for signs of life the worst part uh, is uh, you will encounter uh, a, a stranded german petrol with radio okay. so right now i'm on to a storyline like that go so checking out the wadi Okay guys, we'll proceed with the build, uh, the other 40% now to get this thing looking uh, at least half as real. Okay, I think we'll switch off this one, then let's get some, get some action, 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 oh no no, let's get some action, uh, uh poses the, that that's my laundry line drying the drying uh there <laughs> okay. originally i wanted to name this a uh, job louis but it's not historical accurate job louis was actually killed in action uh, uh before the jeep came in the inventor of the Lewis bomb. Okay. Then of course David Sterling. I, the face still need uh, uh, some work. So as this uh, uniform. Original, originally uh, dark brown or black leather. And still, this one, the uniform still, still need the uh, no the coat still needs more work. So as the pick cap. This is actually a U.S. Air Force pick cap in a. Uh, I think dark brown. They also painted her uh, in one of the earliest earlier episodes. Then of course we came to Belly May. This is actually a very bad angle. I'm catching uh, all my laundries. Okay guys, see you in the next episode. We'll end the video here at uh, 18 minutes and 10 seconds. Okay guys, see you in part 12 where we'll continue the review. See you.